Artificial intelligence is no more science fiction. But an everyday reality shaping our lives. At the heart of this revolution lies a burning question. How does AI's efficiency in programming stack up against the human prowess? Enter the arena of a seemingly simple challenge, extracting fields from a text using specific delimiters. Sounds simple, right? Think again. When ChatGPT goes head-to-head with the seasoned human programmer, what unfolds is not just a coding showdown. Will the logical precision of AI outshine the human intelligence? Or does the human touch still hold its own against the machine? The stakes are high and the implications are profound. Join us as we delve into the fascinating intersections where the human ingenuity collides with the force of artificial intelligence. This task, while elementary at first glance, demands more than just coding skills. It requires strategic thinking, adaptability, and the deep understanding of language nuances. Who will emerge victors in this clash of coding? Let's delve into their solutions and find out. So ChatGPT took less than 19 seconds to generate the solution. The human programmer took about 29 minutes to implement this version of extract field values method. Upon initial examination, the contrast between the two solutions is striking. The human crafted code stands out with its lengthier and more intricate structure, naturally demanding a greater investment of time compared to the ChatGPT's second approach. This initial observation begs the question, Does the length and complexity of the human solution translate to greater effectiveness? Or does ChatGPT's concise coding style conceal in a surprising depth of functionality? Now, the moment of truth arrives. Let's run our test scenarios, the ultimate proving ground to uncover the truth. So, for the first scenario, I want to test an invalid delimiter. Both methods succeeded. Now, I want to extract year, then month, then the rest of the text. That's why I'm using dash and dash as delimiters. Let's run it. Both methods succeeded. Let's change the delimiters and use colon. So we should have first field, then 12 as month, then the rest should start with 31 and ends with the letter Z. Both methods succeeded. I will change the delimiters and use 12 two times. Both the human and AI methods succeeded. Let's use T as delimiter. Both methods succeeded. Let's ignore the suffix in order to extract date and time. The human method succeeded while ChatGPT failed. Now I want to use dash, dash, T, and dot 200. 96z as the limiters in order to extract the details of the date and time. ChatGPT failed. Now we will use another text, which is the path of a file. That's why as the limiters I will use slash three times. AI failed again. 
And what if I ignore the suffix and extract just the name of the folder and the name of the file? If I fail the game, I will change the text and use 1.2.3. I want to extract 1, 2, and 3 as fields. That's why I'm using dot two times. Both a human and AI methods succeeded. And when I use dot two as delimiter, both methods succeeded. With dot as first delimiter and dot three as second delimiter, the human method succeeded but ChatGPT failed. And when I try one and two as delimiters, the human method extracted dot and dot three as extracted fields but ChatGPT failed. When I try one dot as first delimiter and dot as second delimiter, AI failed again. Okay, let's try a bit more complicated message or text. The human and ChatGPT's method succeeded. I want to extract seven fields from it, all of them separated by space as delimiter. Both methods succeeded. Let's use bracket as first delimiter, then space as second delimiter in order to extract date, then space again in order to extract time, then field 3, then space, then field 4. Okay, AI failed again. And I want to ignore 2333. Let's try it. Okay, ChatGPT failed, the human method succeeded. Let's go a bit more in details and extract day, month, and year from the date and hour, minutes, and seconds from the time. I will also extract time zone and HTTP method. Okay, the human method succeeded, ChatGPT failed. For the last test scenario, I will add hello and I want to extract it as greeting. That's why I'm using space after it before the bracket. Okay, the human method extracted the field successfully while ChatGPT failed this test. So here is a comparison of the human and ChatGPT approaches. ChatGPT approach, simplicity and readability. The first two implementations iteratively search for each delimiter and extract the relevant substring. This strategy is simple and effective, but it works just for a limited number of scenarios. Advanced regex usage. Using regex in the last ChatGPT solution is an advanced technique that handles complex delimiter scenarios better. However, this could further increase the complexity and reduce readability. Hybrid approach. Combining regex for initial splitting with custom logic for handling special cases might strike a balance between efficiency and capability to handle complex scenarios. Yet, all these AI approaches fail to return the expected outcome in many scenarios. The human approach. The implementation is more complex with additional checks and a recursive approach for handling remaining text. Complexity. The complexity initially seen as a downside is actually necessary to handle more intricate scenarios. The use of recursion and careful delimiter handling is justified in this context. Clean code. The method seems like over-engineering in simpler cases, yet it proves valuable in dealing with more complicated delimiter arrangements. Readability. While less clear than the other solutions, the structure might be understandable within the context of its advanced capabilities. Maintainability. The usage of extract field values from remaining text improves the modularity. Overall, the maintainability is likely acceptable, especially if it's well documented. Logical precision. The method's ability to handle various edge cases accurately indicates a high level of logical precision, which is not covered by the AI solutions. Are you ready to embark on this transformative journey and elevate your skills? Join over 30k students and enroll in my Udemy video course, Web Performance 101, your guide to boost your web apps, where I unravel the secrets of efficient and effective web applications. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates and tech insights. See you next time.